I meet Mariah Carey and that's where everything changed because she kind of took me on this ride. I was editing for her. Um, when she met me the first time it was by fluke. I was, I was filling in for an editor because hype Williams had so many videos. I mean, he had every video and his main editor, Harvey white, who was the great editor was not available and nobody wanted it. They were like, Oh, whatever. And hype's like, can you, Mariah likes coming in the edit. Why don't you sit with her and edit with her? And I was, I was like, okay, cool. You know? And re remember, I'm just like a couple years out of Morocco. I'm not a, I don't know, like what's the hit song or anything. And so when she walked in the room, she was like, are you the editor? I go, yeah. She goes, oh my God, I've never met a woman of color doing this. And she was shocked. She was like, I was like, oh, really? She goes, yeah, they're all white old men. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And she's like, no, 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 no. And then I just, <laughs> I started, she's like, no, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. I was like, oh, really? And she goes, oh my God. Yeah. And she goes, and they don't know what they're doing. Like, that's what she said. I was like, I don't know. I don't even know this industry. And she'll say, okay, well, let's go to the song Hero. It was my number one song. And I'm like, uh, go, I go, can you hum it for me? Because I don't know the song. And she's like, you don't know the song? I was like, no, I've been in Morocco. And she'll start humming. I go, oh, I think I heard that one. So we developed a very uh, intense friendship and work. She exposed me to everything, took me on tour, had never seen that lifestyle. Fashion, you know, this was definitely at the height of her career. And she taught wow. me a lot about lighting. She taught me a lot about self-autonomy and filmmaking. So you... my background has been artists, you know? Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. I I obviously didn't know, you know, a lot of this about you, but the fact that you... I mean, you did some extensive training because I know that the people that you've talked about and like, for those of you who don't know, like Comedia del Arte and Mime, that's like as theater as you can get. So I did a little bit of that in my school, but the the individual Sinat was talking about, like people go to Paris to train with him. I know he's he's gone now, but people would go to Paris to seek out these people and train with them. So y your training was definitely intense, but the fact that you start off as an assistant in I don't want to say completely different field. It's not completely different, but it's something you didn't go to school for. I mean, you didn't go to school for editing. So you found something that was in the world of what you wanted to do, and you committed to it. You took it seriously, and it just kept leading you to these incredible places because I feel like you were open to it as well. Like you were open to the path that the universe was giving you and you didn't shut it down. You didn't say, I'm above this. This isn't what I want to do. What the hell's going on? It seems like you had a very open, like great attitude towards this. And because of that, it just kept taking you to places it was that a fair assessment of basically how you got into the music world it's such a great assessment what you're saying is i believe in riding the horse in the direction it's going um i really do i, I don't seek things i just am and i create and i know it leads me down the right path because Mariah led me to Prince, who was such, I mean, that was 16 years of my life. And it was such a great learning lesson. I was protected under him and was able to move in the industry in ways where I had a protector, I had a mentor, and I was learning at the same time. But then the horse took me somewhere else. It's kind of like one of my favorite books is The Alchemist, clearly. And, um, <laughs> you know, I, I really, <laughs> I really feel like my journey is like that, uh, is like, like that book. And I listen and I'm not in resistance. It's the same thing going from empire to wheel of time, two different, completely two different things. However, I knew the wheel of time was calling me. And Morocco was calling me and I knew I had to do it. And to be honest with you, clearly I had never done any fantasy action. I just did a whole six seasons of Empire as an executive producer and director. 
about a show about music industry, corruption, um, gritty, and all of the things that I kind of knew when I was in the music industry. And then with Wheel of Time, it was the opportunity of taking the skills that I so have been working on um, and the visual skills and meshing it with the dramatic skills and working with the actors. I mean, it's funny because now when I left the music in the music video industry, went into film and television, that's when I realized I was like, oh, that's why I did all that theater training because I can speak to actors because I am trained uh, as an actor because I have done Alexander Technique because I studied with Jacques Lecoq for a full year intensely with him and that that time as well as doing acrobatics and all that stuff so for me it all makes sense um when working on wheel of time talking to rosamund pike you know we talk a lot about breath work and you know there's the channeling and all that stuff so it kind of lends itself and then of course my eye is how do i make things look which is <laughs> the hip hop vibe in my head is how do I make it look the best? How can it be lit the best? How can the camera move be the flyest camera move? That's how I think naturally. But then at the same time, I've got like a Rosamund Pike in front of the camera and she's bringing her thing and we're kind of collaborating as kind of this um, biggest change. And the same thing when I did, you know, which is not out 2024, but Rings of Power, it was the same thing on a, different scale and just so you know Tolkien is so amazing but working with actors there they were very fine-tuned and a lot of them don't even know about my background most people now that's the irony is like they're like oh you were a music video director I go oh yeah it was another career in a, another lifetime you <laughs> yeah. know but well yeah that's keep- that that's what I I think you I think you had told me we had talked a little bit while we were on the set of 911 Lone Star and you had told me that you had this other life basically and you said like you worked with Prince for 16 years and I was like what and I was I was shocked <laughs> but that's why I wanted to have you on because I think yeah. I think your story's incredible obviously and that is a very important lesson to take out of this of like you just never know where life is going to take you and and I don't want to I don't want to rehash it here because we talk about it in the first episode but like it's happened to me too i mean i i wouldn't have booked aladdin if it wasn't for me doing jack ryan because people you know the producers watched jack ryan and they were like who is that guy do we have a tape for him and then they found my tape that's how they found my tape for aladdin so i i do think that's that's an important lesson i don't want to i don't want to like you know, if I ask you about every little thing, we're going to be here for like five hours because you have all these incredible stories, <laughs> obviously. But I do want to get back to Prince just briefly, because obviously Mariah Carey was kind of your first kind of champion, right? She she saw you and she was like, OK, visibly ethnic woman, like I'm going to take you and I'm going to show you this stuff and teach you. And then Prince did the same thing. But how did you even get to like, how did you get to Prince and 16 years? That's a long time. It's a long time for Prince because he was notorious of turning people around every four to five years. And um, there are just like a handful of us that um, stuck around and was in his life for that long. Um, The Prince thing, he came to me. 